Okay, now we're getting into the Dreamcast era, which is where I start to have a bit more issues with these, with the uh, level choices. Like, City Escape makes sense. Uh, but... I don't know, I, Speed Highway is definitely one of the better levels, but I feel, I feel like he probably could have picked something different here, just to make it, um, just to make it so there aren't two city levels <laughs> in this, I mean, there's this, and then there's the two city levels in the modern era, so, like, yeah, this, I feel like, I feel, I, I do like the night, the night aesthetic here. It, it, it is very pretty, but I feel like, oh good, I feel like it would be more interesting if you picked something like, say, uh, Lost World or uh, Twinkle Park would have been cool. Um, maybe not Final Egg. Like, I, I do like that level, but I feel like that might have been a bit much for this point in the game. Um, but yeah, just tw Twinkle Park. Um, Maybe no, I don't know. Sky. Okay, I I wouldn't pick Sky Deck because uh, I. Well, when we get to the heroes level, I want to talk about that, and I feel like it would clash with that level I have in mind. So yeah, I I I would have preferred like either Twinkle Park or Lost World here. I feel like both of those would have been. Oh, okay, <laughs> I feel like both of those would have st stood out a lot more and been been more unique especially with like all the different gimmicks and stuff that those stages have but uh, in, in terms of the actual level here uh, I do like that they ha had added all this detail I, I, I like how the game just keeps stopping like that um, again I do like how they added all this little all these little details around the levels to make them feel a lot more alive I guess um, there's a lot more like stuff going on just with the backgrounds and all that, and it's just, these levels are really fun to look at, um, and the level design here is, it, it's still really solid, like, um, while I have, I sometimes have, is have issues with the level choices, the level design itself is pretty much rock solid throughout the whole game, so I definitely have no issues in that, in that department, um, so it, it is what it is. And I guess the <laughs> the fans uh, uh, took up some of the some of the slack because while Sega didn't make any DLC or Sonic Team more more specifically, the fans made a bunch of level mods for this game and level mods that are still being made to this day. So you can definitely get like a bunch of like levels from from those cut from a bunch of different mods so e like even some original stages some people have made which are really cool and you gotta love the references to some characters with e123 omega and blaze road over there yeah I also get these. Yeah, you you do start with all the abilities from the start of the game, but there's um there's these little cutscenes that show you how to do like a specific ability when the level actually requires it. So I mean, that's nice, I guess. I will say that some, I do like this, this little shortcut at, at, at the start, this is, that is really cool. Um, um, yeah, I do like how they, how they, for so, most of the, okay, let me see if I can get this. Nope. <laughs> Alright, now, restart. <laughs> that is a really hard shortcut, shortcut to get. Um. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to get that, actually. Like, you had to be there on the ball to actually reach the helicopter. But yeah. Like, sometimes, with the characters you save in the, in the stages, sometimes it feels very deliberate of where they place certain characters. Like, Tails in Green Hill makes, like, I mean, it's obvious, like, it's a... Like, you, you expect Tails to, be, Tails to be the first one, and Green Hill is, and Emerald Hill are, like, fairly alike in how they... I, I don't know, you, you know what I mean. But, <laughs> and um, Amy, while she wasn't in Sonic 2, um, you fight Metal Sonic in, like, the chemical plant area, so that makes sense. Knuckles is being Sky Sanctuary makes a lot of sense because that's, you know, it's part of his island. Um, and, whatchamacallit, um, uh, Cream being in this one is, a uh, is a very, very clever because, uh, I don't think she appeared in, uh, the original SA1, but she did appear in, in Sonic Adventure DX in some sections after a cutscene and whatnot. Um, Cream will just be flying around, and I like to think that Cream being the character you save in Speed Highway is, I, I like to think that, that it's, it's a reference to that, which I think is pretty cool that they, that they did that, but then you have some characters that make absolutely no sense where you save them, uh, like, spoiler alert, I guess, but you save Vector in, there, you save Roof. I can't I can't speak. Uh, that's what that's what happens when you have to talk like a mile a minute <laughs> constantly because um, these games are just extremely fast paced in terms of just everything. So like yeah, you, you basically have to be talking like constantly to keep on tr keep your thoughts on track. But yeah, regardless, um, you save Vector in Rooftop Run and Vector, let alone the Chaotix were not in Unleashed whatsoever, so it's just, it's just kind of random, <laughs> but, you know. Like, I think that's the outlier, because, yeah, Cream makes sense here, Arugian City Escape makes sense, because that's her debut, um, SBO in Seaside Hill makes sense, because, that's the first time the Chaotix um, made an appearance in the 3D games. Um, let's see. Uh, Blaze in Crisis City makes sense because she was in o she was in 06. and I think the the Chaotix were the characters that appeared in Planet Wisping Colors DS. So uh, Charmy being who you save in. Planet West makes sense there. So yeah, it's really just Vector that's the weird outlier. Like, he has no... <laughs> I, I guess it's just like... I, I guess it's just a process of a, a elimination. He can't really be anywhere else, so just... It just... That's just how it works, I guess. But, you know, it, it's just kind of funny. Yeah. City Escape being the level chosen for SA2, though, makes, makes a lot of sense. Um, I... Do like levels? <laughs> this is sacrilege, but I do like levels in SA two more than City Escape. But as far as the SA two stage uh, in this game, it it makes a lot of sense. So I don't have many. I don't have much issue with it. And the remix is really good. I will say that. Oh, and I do like how they expanded the um, the uh, snowboard section at the start. Because in the original, it's basically just some turns and uh, ramps, and that's essentially it. But in this in this version, you have rails to different paths and uh, enemies going around, and like, yeah, there's a lot a lot more replayability with the snowboard section here. So that that's pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of don't want to talk. I kind of want to let, let the music just play.
if there's one thing that was really exciting about this game is it was uh, seeing the or hearing rather the different remixes for for the uh, for the game because yeah I, I don't love all the remixes but a lot of them are like really good. Just, yeah. I don't, okay, so the, I guess this is one thing, to, one other thing to talk about. Um, <clears throat> I know that there's a lot of people that don't like 2D, like Modern Sonic having 2D sections. And I don't mind it too much because, like, we've had this with the boost formula since Color, not Colors, <laughs> since Unleashed. Uh, so, like, like, going back between 3D and 2D. So I don't I don't mind it too much, but I definitely understand it being a bit like redundant because Classic Sonic is already in the game and he already has all 2D. Um, so it would have been yeah I can understand people wanting it like modern to have all 3D, but yeah I don't mind it too much, but yeah I I get the complaint and. Again, with, like, Generations making levels, like, more crazy than their original counterparts. You get the gun truck, but now he has saw blades. <laughs> so, yeah, just... It, it, you, can, you can tell that the devs just had a lot, a lot of fun just remixing these stages. And we're not even done yet. It's just... Go on the wall, and then he gets rocket boosters. Because, of course, he does. Boom. And if you take the time to look around, there's Coffee Blaze, Tails Pizza, uh, yeah. I do like how this end area is a lot more elaborate than, than in SA2. At least from what I remember. But yeah, they're, they're a good stage. I'm not sure I like it as much as the original, honestly, but the it's it's worth it just for the remix. And now we have the classic stage, which is also really good. I actually might like the classic stage more, because I feel like the level design has a more more interesting gimmick. Because while the modern stage ends the, with the gun truck like in the original game, uh, Classic has the gun truck chase you throughout the whole stage. And depending on how fast you are to get a away from the truck, it changes what routes you take. And I feel like that's just a more, inherent in it more inherently interesting. And I feel like the level design here is just... It, it, it is a little bit messy, like, I feel like this beginning bi beginning bit has a bit too much going on, but overall I do really like this version of C City Escape. And as always, it's always just... It always just feels really satisfying to bounce off of a, good, bounce off of a bunch of enemies with the with, with your jumps and just get a good speed boost. Yeah, it, it, I thought this level is just really thrilling because again the truck is just chasing you, trace, chasing you throughout the whole stage, and it it's constantly just on your ass. So you always have to be on the move and paying attention to what's going on, and he active it actively like sends in enemies at you, and yeah. So yeah, if I if I missed that jump, I would have had to have gone down there. To a slower, so slower section instead. So, yeah, it's it. Re it also, this level just also rewards um, skillful play as well, which I really do like. And classic Sonic gets his skateboard, so that's pretty cool. Whee! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize there was a pit there. Yeah. Oh yeah, one other thing that to, to know about City Escape as well is that I haven't shown it off, but there's some w uh, wanted posters for a few ca different characters. 
that you can find throughout the level, um, which is pretty cool, as seen here. Get Mighty and uh, Ray, and there's Fang or Naku over there. And I think there's another one for... I think there's another one for Bean and Bark. So yeah, just a bunch of characters that you don't really see often in, in this series, if at all. So, that's pretty cool. I do like that. And the, uh, another subtle reference, because this, this game is full of those. Um, the, the remix for this um, also has the, it, it also uses the, the, it also uses the Endless Mind theme from Sonic 3's multiplayer, which is a really deep cut reference. And I, for an anniversary title like this, it, you, you gotta love when they just fl throw in all the different references and yeah, it's fun stuff. <laughs> I guess for other stages I would pick, um, the main, my main choice would probably be Final Rush, because seeing that be reimagined just, that would just be really cool. <laughs> But yeah. And now we're going through for the hero stage. Now before I move before I talk about my problems with Seaside Hill, um I will say okay, I will say this. Um in terms of the level itself, I think I for for the modern stage, I classic I, I'm not entirely sure. But the modern stage, I will say, I do prefer over the original level in Heroes. And I do like how it combines both Seaside Hill and Ocean Palace into one stage. Because the way Heroes worked is that um, there were basic, the, the game basically was designed like a 2D Sonic game. In the sense that you had the two acts per zone and then a boss. But the, uh, what is it? There were still technically two different levels like you had seaside hill and ocean palace had like different set pieces and uh level design and all that stuff um so because because they were designed like a 2d sonic in in terms of its structure they yeah they combined seaside seaside hill and ocean palace into one which i think is really cool uh good <laughs> which i think i do think is really cool i do like that a lot and I like how, at least with the, um, I, I don't know about classic, but I do know at least with modern, it does do, like, both, both of the, of the themes. Um, and Heroes is one of the best soundtracks in the series, so I, yeah, I have no qualms about that. And it looks really good. Again, the level design is solid. I like how... There's a subtle, subtle, not subtle, but there's references to like Labyrinth or Hydro City, where later on in the state, well, I mean, just not only just by having underwater sections like this, but there's a section later on where one of the lowest lower areas require you to um, hang on like these poles. That's very rem reminiscent to Labyrinth and Hydro City, so that that's pretty cool. I do like that. Um, but yeah, I do really like Seaside Hill as a level, both in this and in Heroes, I have, I, that's not the issue. Like, the idea of, like, a gr Green Hill-inspired level, but in a Seaside, it, I do really like, I honestly do prefer Seaside Hill over Green Hill, just because I think the, I, the, uh, the level setting is more interesting, but, yeah, um, beyond that, though, my issue with Seaside Hill being the hero's choice is that heroes has some of the most interesting level concepts in the series, and they go with the beach theme. 
And I feel like that... I can't help but be disappointed about that because, like, think about it. Like, you have Grand Metropolis and Power Plant, which, uh, like, is a really cool futuristic city setting. You have Casino Park and Bingo Highway, which, say what you will about the stages themselves, the the neon lights and how colourful that lev those levels are, a and with the bingo like gimmick as well, those levels had like a really cool concept, and like visually, uh, visually they like, they're really stunning. Like heroes in general is just really stunning to look at, uh, but yeah. And then you have, I mean, I could do without the the rail canyon and bullets. Oh my god, please, you want to get out? Um, yeah, I could. I could do without R Rail Canyon and Bullet Station, so I don't mind those not being the choice. Uh, but uh, yeah, you have that. They have Hang Castle, Mystic Mansion, which would have like that and um, Egg Fleet would have been my choices because those are uh, those have very uh, cool mechanics with just the switch and gravity and like all the weird stuff going on in, in the mansion. And that would have been a really cool level to see be remixed and, like, have all these different, like, things going on. Um, and then Egg Fleet, that would have been such a cool level to have in this game. With all the, the, with all the different pathways you could take and, like, blowing up Eggman's armada and just flying around these different ships. And uh, Egg Fleet is one of the coolest levels in the series and... It's, it's, God, it's so disappointing to have them just go with Seaside Hill, of all things. Like, it's iconic. It's probably one of the levels you think of first when you think of heroes. But, man, <laughs> this is what I mean by, like, I can't help but, help but feel disappointed by some of these level choices. Because, as much as I like the level design in this, I can't help but think... Yeah, but what about if they chose Hand Castle or Egg Fleet and had really good level design for that instead? Like, it, I, yeah, like, those would have been really cool choices. And they go with the beach theme, which I do really like it. Like, I mean, I do really like the stage, don't, don't get me wrong, but man, <laughs> they could have done something cooler than this. But, yeah, uh, it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, and again, with the level design, there are so many different paths here. This is probably one of the more open stages in the game, in terms of how many paths you can take. And, yeah, this is definitely one of the levels I played the most. Because there's just so many different ways you can go through the level here. And, yeah. I will say this. I did mention earlier about how this game is a lot easier compared to Unleashed, and while I do still stand by that, um, I will say this: once you start to s try speed running this game, and I feel, well, I mean, I feel like this just kind of, this is kind of just a natural thing in, in general. But when you do try speed running this game, it it the game becomes it turns it it turns into a much harder experience, like. Okay, I want to go over here, because this is something not a lot of people know about. There's just a little a cave section here, but... Yeah, not a lot of people go that way. Uh, but, yeah, just... It, it's fun just finding a bunch of different routes for these these games. But, yeah. Once you start speedrunning this game, it suddenly becomes a lot more difficult. Because, um, yeah, just playing through this game, getting S-Ranks... It's pretty easy, honestly. Like you, it, it's the you. You won't really be tested that much try, trying to complete this game, but when it comes to trying to speed run, that's when that's where you're gonna have um, a lot, a lot of work cut out for you because trying to get a good time and being consistent with these stages is very very hard. So yeah, if you wanna if you wanna try and get on your lead on the leaderboards, get the best times. You're gonna have your work cut out, for, cut out for you. So, if, if you want challenge, I guess the game can give you that. <laughs> so that's something. A, a game. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what that was about. <laughs> yeah, 
usually, usually I would be restarting, restarting if something like that happens, but uh, this is an LP, so I don't, I don't really want to uh, waste time here. But yeah. Yeah. Oh man, now I think, now I'm thinking about how, like, can, can you imagine if, like, you had Hank Castle and then midway through the level you, like, bust through a door and then suddenly you're in Mystic Mansion and, like, God, just, imagine how cool that would have been. Man. <laughs> I. I do like this indoor section though, this is really cool. And then the these little um, these rocks are more obstacles than like a, a chase sequence now, and that's all she wrote. Huh. But I, I, I basically said all I needed to about her the hero's stage choice. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we're doing the missions for the Dreamcast era. And while Hero Heroes isn't part of the Dreamcast era technically, but it is, um, it is like the same using the same engine as in uh, SA two, I think. So it, it's close enough. Do I have to be drifting? Yay, low times. Okay. Okay, just... I think it's just get to the end. Yeah. Yeah, not much to really say here. <laughs> and then we go backwards. And that's it. Yeah, not much not much to really say about that one. Huh. 
Yeah, I def I'm definitely going to show off like sort of the artwork we unlock cuz Yeah, this game has some like nice low uh, unlockables. So sure, we'll, we'll go with this. Okay, so what, it's just going to be a bunch of those uh, cop enemies, I guess. I was, Angel Island is definitely my favorite uh, opening stage for a, a classic Sonic game. It's just, it's just so good. <laughs> I, I have no memory of what I've said in the Sonic pl 3 playthrough, but yeah, Angel Island is a very good opening stage. Also has a really good track. I mean, Sonic 3 is also just... Yeah. I mean, it's, it's been set to death at this point, but one thing you will... You, you can always have to say about... Well, not every Sonic game. But most Sonic games, regardless of the quality, um, they're usually going to have a banging soundtrack. So that that's uh, definitely something something to look forward to for each game. Alright, so what are, we get, what are we getting here? Sonic, scenic boom. You wanna, oh, can I really not jump up that high? Alright. Uh, what? <laughs> Did I seriously hit that pin, like, over here? How does that work? <laughs> No! Let me get down! Please! I don't need all these speed boosters. Alright. Now I'll go into the city escape section. Uh, one thing I also really like is that... Um, the, uh, the white space has like different... What is it? it? It has all these like short remixes of the uh, levels, um, and they're all pretty. They're all pretty catchy. Skateboard in time. Yeah. I think the skateboard is actually is also a, a skill you can get as well. So you can just press triangle and then just activate a, a skateboard. So there's, there's a lot of cool things you can do. <laughs> this fits pretty well. <laughs> oh, good. God, I love this theme. <laughs> I have me I have my issues with Sonic CD but the music is definitely not one of those. Woo. Oh god, okay. All right. Kind of wish that went on for a bit longer but That was cool.
Alright. And more artwork. There's a ton of artwork in this game. Okay, both of these are speed challenges. Oh, I, I see. Okay, this, this is an interesting one, I think. I do like that this game brought back, like, the spinning pole stuff from, like, SA2. I think... Yeah, I don't... I don't remember those being in Heroes or Shadow or anything. Were they? Oh no, there were there were no six. I I guess there's that. I don't. I know Project O Six uses them a lot more, um, but I mean that's not an official release. I I only really remember it. Be, really remember the poles being used a little bit in like O G O Six, but I I do really like the idea of like. Pulse swinging as like a platforming platforming mechanic for Sonic, because like he's supposed to be like super athletic and like uh, um, stylish and whatnot. So the idea of like, having these pulse swings just it just adds a lot of character and makes sense and it it makes you feel cool. So yeah, I like it. Okay. Are you sure you want to know? Yeah, I just love all these, like, random things you can... Again, just... All the stuff in the background is just a lot of fun. I guess we might may as well do the rival fight here. I guess it's also worth noting that if you do all the uh, missions in an area, in an area, you the um, you do regain color to the uh, other sections of the of the zone. I guess so. Like, all, all all this would be would come back to come back to like it'll it'll like have color again if you do do all the missions in City Escape. So, I... God. I don't know if, um... This is meant to be Shadow from SA2 and he's just been, like... Uh... Cut from that time. Or it's just Shadow from, like, the modern... Like... It's just modern Shadow just being edgy. Because that's all they know what to do with him nowadays, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I do like this reenactment of the SA2 intro. But yeah. This is a... Uh, less of a fight, and more of just a straight up race, which I guess makes sense. I do prefer it, like... Okay, I will say this. I do prefer the um, SA2 version, like, the, S2, the SA2 theme, because I feel like... Uh, I feel like this is just a lot, just a lot slower paced and less interesting and intense. Like I feel like, for the um, the final clash between Sonic and Shadow, it makes sense. It it, it makes sense for it to be like super bombastic and fast paced and in general just really intense. But this is just kind of the complete opposite of that. It's the theme itself is fine, but when you have these characters going as fast as they are, it doesn't really make sense for it to be a slower paced uh, remix. So, I, but yeah, just, anyways, though, yeah, live and learn. If he does get the power ups, he does send chaos spears in your face. So, yeah. But yeah, th this boss is fine. I, I don't love it, but it's, um, it's 
It's a cool idea making it like a race, I guess. I I, pref I prefer it being like a straight straight up a, a straight up fight, but considering like Sonic and Shadow are meant to be like the fastest characters in the series, making it a race fight makes a lot of sense. So it is what it is. Although it would have been cool if Sonic's uh, power up was like something to do with like Sonic Wind. Like that would that would have been a cool reference, especially since Shadow's ability, uh, like he uses Chaos Spear, which is what he does in in that fight in SA two. So yeah, that's a little bit of a missed opportunity, but it's fine. I'm not gonna lose. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. A sweet mountain. Yeah, this is sweet mountain, all right. <laughs> yeah, I I had to pick this one because it's just basically uh, robots get horny over Rouge because apparently Eggman pro uh, programmed his uh, robots to um, ju yeah just <laughs> get horny like for some reason. <laughs> At least the the idea of that is just really funny. God. Oh my god. I love this. God, this music is so unfitting. Eh. It's a little bit annoying, but... Oh, come on. Screw you, dude. I don't need that. Apparently I do. I mean, that was just me failing, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. They, they, they knew what they were doing with this. Oh my god. I can make it with it, just this. No, I can't. Alright. That, that's fine. Honestly, now that I'm playing through this game again, um, I think... <laughs> I think this is easier than Colors, if I'll be honest. I feel like even... Like, I feel like Colors at least had some challenging level design. Well, may, well okay. Colors is still a fairly easy game, but... Um, I feel like it is at least the some of the platforming was at least a little bit more demanding than in generations. That just kind of came to mind because I'm playing colors music right now. That's great. Just jump over him. I don't know. I guess some of the again, again some of the missions can be uh, kind of. Kind of tough sometimes, but it's a uh, yeah. Most of the game is fairly simple. Yeah, I I'm not too upset about that because I I see this as more of a celebration title more than more than anything. So. Um, while I would prefer it being a little bit more challenging, I don't think it's a deal breaker. And again, if you want a challenge, like, you can try speedrunning it and <laughs> see how much tougher the game can be when you do that. Alright, do that again. Alright. There's an interesting one one with SBO that I, I wanna do. Alright.
Yeah. No. How the heck? Oh my god. It's a little bit awkward to navigate some of these areas. So I wanna... How do I go on that spring? Excuse me? Okay, I'm just gonna turn modern. Eh! Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't know how I was supposed to get there with um classic. Do I have any more music? No, okay. So this is an interesting one. I remember it being a little bit weird, but like in like how to make this work correctly, but Yeah, you use SBO to like do like do it's like it's a swinging mechanic. And I remember this being a little bit, yeah, just being a little bit weird. Oh yeah, this is like Balloon Park, I think, from Sonic Freeze Multiplayer. Okay, yeah, you, I think like... Right, okay, so how it works is that you, um, you do influence the uh, momentum by just moving left and right. And then... You, uh, as soon as you let go of triangle, that's when SBO, like, launches you. It's not based on you jumping yourself, so, yeah, th that's the best thing to keep in mind here. Because it's very easy to forget how this functions and then jump and then fail. <laughs> Wait, why the heck did- okay, hold on. Oh, no, that, that was the t a target, okay, I, I see. Do 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 Okay. Alright. Yeah, what- Yeah, I feel like my issue with this originally was probably the fact that I thought you had to press X or the jump button, but you- you know, you don't. You just have to let go. But yeah, this is- this is a really cool idea. Uh, okay, I see. Ugh! Okay. <laughs> that was cool. And that's all she wrote for the Dreamcast era. Oh, nice, Savannah Citadel. Yeah, from this point on, it doesn't really... For the bosses, it doesn't really matter which Sonic you go in with, so... Th this is... Probably the best boss in the game, though. Probably. Actually, yeah, uh, mm, mm. there's a couple of contenders for that, but we'll, I'll save it. It's definitely between this and two upcoming bosses, though. And as far as I, as far as I'm aware, this is what they wanted Perfect Chaos to look like with all these scales and whatnot. But you no, know, Dreamcast can only do so much. But yeah, he looks really cool here. And yeah, the remix doesn't do anything too special, but it's still really good. And basically, this boss is really good because it it turns this uh, this boss into a stage, um, and you just go around platforming and then you reach chaos and 
it's a really cool way to translate this into just into um, a bo a boost uh, boss, and it it does something very unique that you don't really see in a lot of Sonic bosses. So, yeah, and it also just <laughs> it also just shows how much stronger Sonic has become since SA one because um, in 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 that game, yeah, you had to use the chaos. You had to you had to become Super Sonic to like do anything to to a uh, perfect chaos. But now he he can take this guy out with just his base form, and and in less hits as well, might I add. So yeah. And people will say, "Oh, it's just game mechanics," Blah, but it, no, it's a, it's an established thing that like Sonic does get stronger between uh, games. So yeah. And you get a nice little platforming sequence at the end. And again, if, <laughs> like with SA1, I don't know why they end with this uh, generic, like, bad guy music for the last... Good. <laughs> for the last phase, compared to... Uh, compared to... Uh, as opposed to doing Open Your Heart last as your f the final hurrah, which I think makes a lot more sense, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Alright, let's try this again. But it's definitely one of the best bosses in this in the game. I don't know if I don't know if I'd say it it, it like it is the best boss, but it's definitely up there. Very solid sh uh, showing from Chaos from Chaos here. And you did. I'm not super thrilled about all these A ranks I'm getting, but it's fine. <laughs> Oh, I love this. Okay, actually work. Okay, sometimes that cutscene is hilarious because the uh, areas don't like load in right away. So it's just it kind of just it kind of just cuts to all the different levels and all the <laughs> the environment just pops in like really quickly. It's, it's really funny looking. But no, I I guess it I guess today was a good day. I mean, yeah. <laughs> 